Over the past three years, South Asia has been hit hard by extreme shocks and recovery has not been easy. Now the region faces weakening growth due to multiple economic challenges and global uncertainty. Some positive developments such as lower energy prices, a strong global recovery in services sectors like tourism and IT, and the reopening of China's economy have helped recovery. But rising interest rates and uncertainty in financial markets are negatively impacting the region's economies. Growth is projected to average 5.6% this year, a downward revision from October 2022 forecast. Inflation is not declining as quickly as expected, and high food prices are contributing to greater food insecurity for South Asia's poor. To go from recovery to sustained and resilient growth, countries need to move away from ad hoc measures such as fuel subsidies and import restrictions. Instead, they should focus on broad reform programs that fully utilize the region's production potential and ensure economic development is inclusive. South Asia has among the world's highest inequality of opportunity and lowest intergenerational mobility. That means a person's access to education, jobs, earnings, and levels of consumption are determined by circumstances out of their control. These include place of birth, caste, ethnicity, and gender. Such socioeconomic divides are unfair and inefficient and constrain long-term economic growth. Countries can address these divides by improving access and quality of education strengthening affirmative action policies, supporting small and medium enterprises, and reducing barriers to labor mobility. This is vital to ensuring the region can achieve its full potential.